Hi, I'm Gregor Weiss, Professor of Finance here at Leipzig University, and I want to welcome you to this class on sustainable finance. In this class, we'll be dealing with most of the important topics in sustainable finance. That is, we want to discuss how finance as a field and financial markets can help us overcome the problems and adverse effects of climate change, how we can uh, add to the fight against climate change, and how we can also make the economy and firms more sustainable and do more responsible investing and more responsible financing. So that's the overall theme of this class. It's an online class, uh, which is also taught at Leipzig. And in this first part, we are going to discuss the syllabus, um, most importantly, the outline, the different topics we'll be dealing with throughout the semester. And we also have to talk about some of the things that only the students at Leipzig need, for example, how they can take the exam. So let's get uh, right on it and start with the outline of this class. In the second part, we'll start by asking ourselves whether shareholder value maximization and responsible investing can be done at the same time, whether they are competing goals, where they actually complementary, and we'll see the different takes research um, have has on how uh, shareholder maximization and sustainable investing can actually go hand in hand. In the third part, we talk about CSR forms and practical examples. That is, we are going to look at corporate social responsibility, how it's defined, what it means, uh, what forms it can take, and what practical examples we can find from especially large companies that engage in corporate social responsibility or actually that are not so responsible. So moving on to section four, we'll have to ask ourselves how can we actually measure this corporate social responsibility. After having defined it, we need to come up with proxies and measures how to quantify the extent to which companies are sustainable. Now, this is done for corporate social responsibility. And over the last couple of years, companies and investments have been rated a lot by companies, by rating agencies. So we'll move from CSR measurement to more standardized forms of ESG and CSR ratings, ESG meaning environmental, social and governance uh, ratings. And uh, we'll see how sustainability reporting has been um, increasing a lot over the last couple of years and how these ESG ratings look like and what they maybe should look like. In sections six and seven, we'll deal with sustainable banking and sustainable insurance, meaning that we'll have a look at how banks and insurance companies can actually achieve more sustainability, how their products, how their services they offer uh, can be deemed sustainable or maybe not sustainable. Now, both banks and insurance companies, of course, offer very specialized forms of services and products, but they also do let's say, plain vanilla investing. And in section eight, we'll talk about sustainable investments and sustainable asset management in section nine. In part 10, we'll deal with climate and carbon finance. Climate and carbon finance means that we'll first have a look at how maybe carbon dioxide emissions greenhouse gas emissions are already recognized and priced in by market participants in financial markets. But we'll also have a look at instruments how to price carbon dioxide emissions and how to uh, use pricing mechanisms, maybe even a market mechanism uh, to, in the end, reduce carbon emissions by firms. Now, all of these things, sustainability, corporate social responsibility in the financial markets can, of course, have an impact on the macroeconomy and the financial system as a whole. So in chapter 11, we'll talk about the impact of sustainability or non-sustainable behavior by banks, insurance companies, etc., on financial stability or fragility. 
and talk about the regulatory context, um, especially, of course, for banks and insurance companies. And last but not least, in Chapter 12, we'll have a look at microfinance and microinsurance as two rather old concepts of a more sustainable finance and banking system. So that's the outline for the whole class. If you're taking this class in Leipzig, it's a two hour um, per week class. In this semester, it's an online on-demand class only. So you're watching these videos and there is no in-class uh, lecture. Uh, but you've probably noticed this by now. It's an optional class in the Master of Science in Business Administration and you can get five ECTS uh, points if you take the multiple choice test which is computer-based at the end of the semester and for the exchange students please note that there is no Erasmus paper uh, at the end. You have to take the same multiple choice test as all the other students. Okay, so the main learning objectives of this class. After having taken this class, you should be um, aware of the theory, but also the practice of sustainable finance. Um, as I said, sustainable finance looks at how finance interacts with ESG, uh, economic, social, environmental and governance issues. And it deals with the question how finance and financial markets can make uh, the economy more sustainable and less reliant, especially on, uh, on carbon and fossil fuels. It should enable you to gain a fundamental knowledge of different sustainability definitions. You should know what sustainability can mean, that it's actually quite difficult to define it uh, in just one way. And you should get an overview of sustainable financial products sustainable investment strategies, also banking services, banking products and insurance services. You should also learn how to identify um, how corporates integrate sustainability into their business models and understand the constraints of transforming the financial system to a more sustainable one. And in more detail, you will discuss sustainability challenges for financial institutions. You will see how these changes to the financial system um, can have real effects. Um, they should have real effects because we want to transform not just the financial system, but the real sector as well. And in the end, students should know and be able to classify the most important questions, methods, theories, products, services associated with sustainable finance and banking. Now this whole class is available on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube playlist and to the channel. If you do have questions, you can contact me at uh, this uh, email address and all the material for the students in Leipzig, you can download it from our Moodle site. You can also follow me on Twitter, GNF Weiss. I'm back on Twitter. Uh, let's see for how long. And if you click on this link here in the um, slides, or if you look uh, in the description of the video, you can find uh, all the information on Twitter, on the YouTube channel, etc. For our students in Leipzig, we also have a mailing list for job postings. If you click on uh, this link here, you can see, uh, you can subscribe to uh, our mailing list and then uh, you will be forwarded uh, job postings, offers for uh, internships, etc. Um, contact via email, I've already said that, and um, we would normally discuss what your expectations are. Um, you can, of course, uh, write your comments um, on this video, on this class, um, to, to via email. You can also use the comment function here um, in uh, YouTube. And if we take this class, if you take this class next year, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, in a class together and we can discuss this um, in person. Um, there are a few textbooks I can recommend. For example, there's Principles of Sustainable Finance by Schoenmaker and Schramade. Uh, pretty good, actually. Um, most of the lecture is uh, at one point or another based on uh, this textbook. Uh, there is also one by uh, Carré, 
um, Sustainable Banking, which is one of the very few um, books actually dealing with sustainable banking. Um, there is also um, the Handbook of Sustainable Finance by Thierry Roncalli. Very good, very recent, uh, and you can download a lot of stuff uh, from uh, Thierry Roncalli's website. Just Google it. And that should be enough for you um, to get along with uh, this class. So there are a couple of other readings, but I'll add um, most of the uh, readings and references as we move along through this class. So that's our class for today. I hope uh, you have all the information you need and uh, maybe you'll watch the second video. Thank you.